Mm. Uh, test, test. What are you looking at, butthead? What it do, everybody? And welcome back to Kidel TV. And today, we're opening up two collectibles from my favorite movie, Back to the Future. What it do? Welcome back and what it do guys, man. Look, I got two collectibles to open up today. Me and D just came back from Frank and Sons collectible show. So much stuff there, so much stuff to see, so much stuff to buy. So I purchased a couple of things from Back to the Future there. I purchased the Back to the Future 3 DeLorean. Check it out, check it out, what it do. Oh, look at looking nice. With the red 50 style tires and the big old honking microchip. But they had to replace with 1955 parts. Yeah. So we got that. And I also just got in the mail. D ordered for me. Ultimate. Not Biff. Griff. Hannon. Oh, man. He looks so angry. And we're going to open him up here today. What did you do, man? All right. So let's let's start with some easy. Let's start with the Delon. It's about the future on it. All right, let's take this guy open and see. All right, and then we gotta just take over the. Here you go. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, some most collectibles I don't have a hard time. I had a hard time opening up Turbo Man because he's kind of like, it was kind of rare. I see now at Frankincense too. They had him at Frankincense too. They had the original Tiger version. Was not cheap. Was not cheap. I'm not too concerned about these guys for the boxes. I might be a little savage when I open this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not opening. What can we stick in there? Rummage, rummage, rummage. It says we have a fork. Hey, it works! New Funko box opening to a fork. Alrighty. Ooh. I take out all my DeLoreans. I have my DeLoreans. So now I have this one. I'm only missing one, I think. I'm going to have to open both sides of this thing. Yep. Where's my fork? Fork you, buddy. Ah, he's taped up on this side. There you go. We kind of had to open both sides to get him out. Kind of like keep the box intact. <laughs> I'll be needing that box later. So gotta be careful with it. All right. We get our Back to the Future tree. DeLorean instructions. What to it do? Let's file those two. <laughs> Oh man, so once you take this guy apart, that's it, he's done. He's got some, she's screwed in actually. Looks really cool like they put on the box in with the Old West stuff in the back. Oh man, where's he going? To the future that is. So more tape to cut up. They got a trusty blade here. Yeah, there's all their screws in the bottom. Look, you still gotta unscrew him. You bring any tools over here? All right, we're ready for this guy. Start off by taking out the screws. It's probably the easiest way to do it. Right, right, right. I think I got him. I think I got him. Yeah. There you go. Ooh. He's out. He's out. Oh, he's got lights. What? That's dope. Yeah, new favorite tool. This one works better than the other tool they have. Let's see, how do I get this stuff off? Using fork power. Oh, look, fork power works, man. Take off the little safety for the doors. What? There's a compartment for the batteries right there. I see it. Oh, man, I scratched it up a little bit. It was fork power. Hmm. But nevertheless, Back to the Future 3 by Jada. Yeah, he looks so cool. I don't have this one. I didn't have this one. Look at that. Big old 1955 microchip. 
Oh, these doors, all oh, these doors were open much better than the other ones I had. Oh, much softer. The other ones were all getting out weak already. They were starting to fall. In. They were starting to like fall under their own weight. Oh, look, and it has a, it has a 2015 future license plate. Look at that. D, that's dope. Oh, it even has a little thing at the bottom for the for the railroad. It's like made for the railroad. But I think there's I think there's two cars in Back to the Future Three. So I'll need this one. I'll need Back to the Future One, and I'll need the Back to the Future Three. This one with the rail car wheels. So I do need another car. So there are four actual cars for Back to the Future's trilogy. Oh man, he's so cool! Look at that with the Mister Fusion. That's a little Mister Fusion Fusion thing. A little more detail than the last one was. Got a couple of extra cables in the back. Pretty cool. Need to find the Marty that'll and Doc that'll fit in there. <laughs> very cool, very cool. I like it. Yeah. Right, on to the next one. What? Ultimate Griff Tannen. Let's open him up. Dude, 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 dude. I'm surprised. This one just came out, too. We're going to open him up. But Griff just came out. it has been out for too long. I need some work. Cool power. It worked. Oh, it's not working this time. Work power is not working. There you go. It does work. Pork tool power always works. I like to keep these boxes pristine because I like to collect in the box. The boxes are actually really cool. Pull him out real quick. Now uh, they went with the cover on for Griff Tan and they went on with the Pitbull. This Pitbull signs on his hoverboard in the movie. We'll show you guys that right now. This is really cool. I like the box. Really cool. Look at the back of the box. Different ways you can do them. I think I'm going to do that one right there with the bat. He looks so angry. Got him here, guys. Ultimate grip, damn it. He's so damn it. You hear what keeps saying that, like, Michael J. Fox was like the out the star of that movie. He is the star of that movie. I love Michael J. Fox. But Tom Wilson, dude, Tom Wilson deserves his day in the sun. This guy's hilarious. He, I've seen him in all kinds of other movies. If you haven't seen him in Blood in Blood Out, you can watch him in Blood in Blood Out. That's a good movie, too. But Tom Wilson, he's hilarious, dude. Stand up comic. He's the man. Even though he is Griffo. All right, so let's take him out. Another thing, too, that's really cool. They give you the backgrounds for every single one. Look, he's from Back to the Future 2015. And Back to the Future 3, they go back to 2015. This is what the clock tower looks. Look at the big old lake they put in there. Super cool. I need to find, like, my thing is that to find frames, like, shadow boxes this exact size. And put them back in there. But all, you know, composed up. All pulled up like all. Okay. All right. So, like I said, he comes with his hoverboard. And the pit bull side is on the hoverboard. I actually have a set of these hoverboards that actually hover. They're like magnetically hover. Really cool thing to get. I like them. I think uh, Kid Logic made those. Those things are really cool. I still have them. They're right there. Oh, super cool thing I just noticed too. They put they even put the straps for the three. The three cronies that he has, it's all hook up. Hook on! <laughs> hook on! Yeah, that's what that's him. Oh, very cool, very cool. Hopefully they made this board better than the one that came with the original Marty McFly. 2015 Marty McFly, he wasn't that great. So I think I might have to cut him out. Which way? Yeah, I gotta cut him out. Let's cut him from the back end, it's not damaging. Let's see. Rummage, rummage, rummage. Yeah. Oh, he's so bad. He's gonna get out. Get out of there. Oh, get out of the box. Stand up, Griff. His hands are stuck in there. Oh, he's still tied up at the bottom, too. Damn it. Rummage, rummage, rummage. Yeah, bad. You can't be harder to open in the freaking DeLorean. Oh, we got two of them. 
Sweet. Get out of there. He's out. He's out. He's got a radioactive crotch. He's out. How cool. He comes with another head. He does come with another head. So cool. Look. You get an extra Griff Tannen head, which you can actually use as a Biff Tannen head for your ultimate Biff Tannen. Looks a little different, though, huh? Looks like pretty good. Look at his teeth. Look at his teeth. What you looking at, butthead? <laughs> Creepy. Put it away. You also get the stand to put the hoverboard on. So then he must go like this. Let's try it out. Let's see, clip him right in. Ah, oh. Careful, careful, don't break them. Just got him. Ah, I like the way that stands though. That actually stands really good. Better than the other one. I don't use the stand that came with my Marty. Because it's kind of like cheese and chintzy. That's actually really good. Like the, oh, what else did the Griff come with? <laughs> Are you serious? Kurt Gibson Jr. Slugger 2000. <laughs> Kerb, Kerb Gibson Jr. Slugger 2000. Look at this thing. That's crazy cool. Okay, we're going to use those accessories. Okay, now let's take a look at Griff. He's actually really rubbery. He's really rubbery. His clothes are actually really rubbery. Got a lot of little details, like a little chain right here in the back. His head. Oh, his head it's actually moved pretty good. Like, oh, oh. You, you give me what I want. Okay, so look at him. His feet, the knees are really hard. Uh, in true Nika fashion. He's got the freaking hand up. Look. Oh, he's got the hand. Oh, the hands are pretty good. Hand would be pretty good. Uh, 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 I can drive a truck now. Look, he can drive a truck. He can drive a truck. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Pretty cool. All right, what can we do with him? How do you hold the bat with that? Let's see. Look, he's got the... Oh, man, look at his little wrist. He's got the... This little thing with the wires and stuff. I think that was the... Implants or what? I'm talking about some implant things. Look at that. It looks really cool. Really well detailed. This thing is awesome. This is better than... The, oh, I can even hit the hips. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. Pretty cool really cool damn this griff is really cool let's see, let's see if we can mold him. put him in a good spot all right i think i got him in a good good position now i had to consult the back of the box look at that there look at him there doesn't that look like him from the movie man look at him he's so angry he's gonna hit you in the face with it with his slugger that's so cool put him on his board and everything he sits we sit up right so good look. he sits good in there Put him in there. Bring the DeLorean over. Bam. These are super cool collectibles that I super like. And I'm glad I'm sharing with you guys. These are really cool. What do you guys think about it? Make you put in the comments what which one is your favorite? Or which one of these characters would you like me to get next? Look at this guy. Dude, you can see inside his mouth. He's so angry. Subscribe, buttheads. <laughs> but hey, if this is your first time checking out D and Me and Kid TV and one of these types of videos, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to D and Me and Kid TV. Get you notified. Hit that bell whenever we post a new video. But from D and Me and Kid TV, we'll see you guys all on the next unboxing. What it do? What?